What's up, y'all? Back for another video. I see shooting this video right before I go to bed here. What's up, kitty? We got a little cat down here. Hey. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys about um, a little something tonight. Um, I'll explain it in this way. Health, wealth, love, and happiness. I've talked a little bit about health recently, a little bit about wealth. Um, and today I'd like to talk about the love aspect of the four pillars to the good life, health, wealth, love, and happiness. Um, and specifically, um, the, the people in that department of the four pillars. Um, not necessarily relationship-wise, but this is, this would be like relationships, with your friends, family, with everyone that's included in your life. And a little tip of advice um, that I've learned throughout my 21 years of living on this earth and something that you guys can take away today. Um, and what I want to talk about is basically, um, you're, I talk a lot about the social circle of people that you have around you, um, how you pick them and all that stuff. I talk about that in other videos. Um, I want to stress the importance of keeping in constant contact with the people in your circle of association, um, especially the people that you don't necessarily, um, that you aren't forced to stay in contact with every day, um, the people that you want to keep in your life that you don't just run into um, naturally throughout the day. Um, like, you know, your co-workers or the, the people you live with, you're going to naturally run into them every single day. You don't have to try to keep in contact with them. Um, I'm talking about the friends, the family members, whoever it is in your life, maybe mentors, that you have to go out of your way to keep in communication with. Um, you should get together a good group of people in your life that you keep in constant conversation with, whether it's through text message or a short 15 minute to an hour phone call once a week, um, with people that are just there in your life for no other reason than to be good friends with you or good whatever they are to you, with you. Um, no business purposes, no ulterior motives of any kind, no no other reason why you're keeping them in your life or why you're talking to them. Just good hearted people that make you feel good and people that bring you back to who you are. Um, Ty Lopez actually talks a lot about this too in his program, The 67 Steps, the first program that he came out with, the Here in My Garage ads, all that stuff. Um, he talked about um, being friends with old friends like people from your childhood if you can reconnect with people like that or um, maybe like old high school buddies um, I have an old high school buddy Wade I keep in constant contact with him um, from time to time again even though there's no business relationship between us there's no specific motive for me wanting to hang out with him or talk to him it's just like he's my homie he makes me feel good on the inside and makes me remember who I was, you know, when I was in high school. Kind of brings you back to your roots, people that keep you grounded. Um, you know, family members, you know, a lot of people as they grow up, especially people my age, tend to get very distant with... Sorry, I had to adjust the focus there. They tend to get very distant with family members like mom and dad and, and sisters and brothers and stuff like that. Um, I think it's important that we stay in constant contact with these people so that, you know, if anything were to ever happen to them, first of all, then, you know, we're okay with ourselves because we were in constant communication with these people that are important to our life, but maybe we just don't naturally run into them as often. You know, make make the time for them, make the extra effort. And, you know, just like grinding extra hard, uh, you may not feel like it in the moment because it's a little bit out of your way, but it's 100% worth it. Because at the end of the day, the reason why we do practically everything in our life is for the people that we love, for the people that we care about in life. And 
you know, without people like that in our life, then life can be pretty bland. You know, and even if you are watching this video and you don't have many people in your life, um, to make you feel a little bit better, you know, I don't have a lot of people in my life either. But I'll tell you this much, because I've had a lot of points in my life where I had a lot of acquaintances, a lot of friends, a lot of people in my circle, and I've also had points like, like points where I'm at now where I don't have very many people in my circle. There's only a, a couple that I keep around me. Sometimes it's better to walk alone than with a crowd in the wrong direction. So just make sure that, of course, the people that you surround yourself with, you're being very cautious about why you're selecting them, and you're making sure to look at their um, how they behave and how they act and how they think, and you know, be caught, be very wary that you know everything they say, do, and think it's going to rub off on you. So make sure you're surrounding yourself with people that you want to be like and people that are happy so that you can be like how you want to be and that you can be happy um, but also remember to not forget those that you know you still love but you may not see every day now because life tends to change a lot and you know circumstances change a lot but it's always good to keep those connections fresh and watered, you know, like a plant, you keep it watered, you keep paying attention to it, you keep caring for it, you trim the weeds, you make sure everything's looking nice, um, you do your upkeep on your relationships, um, you know, not just romantic relationships, but your all of your relationships in your life, you keep the upkeep going, and then you'll have a beautiful, you know, happy garden of friends. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about tonight. If you got any value out of this or if you enjoyed it in any way, make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I love commenters. I comment back to every single person who takes the time out of their day to comment to me. So, um, And yeah, if you liked the video, drop me a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And turn on the post notifications because I post pretty much every single day. And if I don't post every day, I post at least once a week. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a blessed night.